Good evening and welcome to the Jackson Academy Annual Awards Day. Our purpose tonight is to honor those students who have achieved distinction in academics, the arts, athletics, activities, leadership, service, and character. This has been an exceptional year in the truest sense of the word. We dealt first with a flood and now with distance learning as a result of a worldwide pandemic. I'm exceedingly proud of our students and how they have responded, but I'm even prouder of our parents who have handled this with patience, dedication, and grace. I congratulate each member of the Jackson Academy community, student and adult, and I'm honored to be associated with it. Awards Day is being presented differently this year with a special presentation for seniors and another for grades nine through 11. Thank you for joining us and welcome to our broadcast. Good evening, my name is Matt Morgan and as the Associate Head of School and Academic Dean, it is my privilege to honor the following students for their academic success this school year. The following 9th through 11th grade students have been on the Academy Honor Roll, which is a 95 or above average, for the first, second, and third nine weeks of this school year. Freshman, Stella Allen, Thomas Antisi, Molly Baldwin, Bailey Berry, Ishman Bayoun, Avery Brooks, Sarah Clay, Elizabeth Copeland, Cooper Fletches, Mary Grace Foster, Jeffrey Gow, Emma Duncan Hogue, Liza Perkins, Gracie Drew Pratt, Dev Sharma, Kathleen Thigpen, and Camille Towery. Sophomores, Abigail Addison, Abby Arnett, Gibson Cheney, Caroline Courtney, Wilson Etherly, Reagan Felder, Connor G, Sandin Guild, Maggie Corey, Libby Lohmeyer, Anna Carlisle Nichols, Caroline Redman, Ann Bear Robertson, and Annalee Wilson. Juniors, Drew Antisi, Thomas Arnold, Gracie Coe, Emma Collins, McNeil Dinkins, Coleman Dinkins, Caroline Graven, Caroline Harrington, Sophie Hayes, Avery Hendrick, Hallie Grayhouse, Zoe Ladner, Isabel Lee, Miles Taylor Leverett, Priya Ray, Anna Blake Reed, Elena Roberts, Emma Roberts, Lila Robertson, Anna Claire Sego, Emery Thigpen, Jack Varner, Mesa Vivians, and Alice Williams. Next, we'll honor our ninth through 11th grade students who have been on the honor roll or a combination of honor roll, academy honor roll for the first, second, and third nine weeks of this school year. Freshmen, Mary Peyton Barnett, Gwen Bishop, Cade Breland, Coleman Schust, Lucy Elfert, Lila Eubank, Mary Manning Faris, Grace Geary, Lily Gebhardt, Ann Cole Hammonds, Houston Hearn, Sydney Grace Hewitt, Wynn Hooker, Colette Hudson, Blake Jones, Adams Kennedy, Ava Ladner, Walker Lake, Drake Lester, Samuel Long, Anna Lauren Parker, Cole Powers, Ian Robertson, Robert Sheely, Henry Smith, Hannah Towery, Josh Watson, Bennett Ware, Olivia Claire Williford, Parker Yarborough. Sophomores, Avery Adair, Drew Barentine, Andrew Burks, Anna Claire Bush, Elizabeth Castle, Jalia Coins, Gunnar Kress, Caroline Chrysler, Katie Davis, Ridley Deemer, 
Matthew Frost, Ty Gardner, Samuel Hadley, Harrison Johnston, Remy Jones, Anna Lee LaDuff, Davis Lee, Parker Lowe, Clayton Mahaffey, Daniel Martin, Molly McClure, Kennedy McKee, Banks McNair, Aiden Rich, Ashley Runnels, Garrett Smith, Ashton Tate, Reed Travelstead, Natalie Turner, John Wicks, and Fran Wilkerson. Juniors, Sims Baker, Emmy Brown, Rosemary Caldwell, Mackenzie Coburn, Juliana Copeland, Ava Cooey, Ava Crawford, Mary Grace Downs, Isabel Island, Phoebe Gwynn, Ethan Hill, Zaria Hill, Andrew Holmes, Ari Jackson, Emery Lassiter, Marie Lewis, Michael Lowe, Annabelle McCraney, Lachlan McClendon, Pryor Murley, Hensley Mulder, Thomas Nance, Grace Owens, Elizabeth Pettigo, Madeline Pettis, Will Pilkington, Elise Robinson, Alex Summerford, Wes Thomas, Kate White, and Ann York. Congratulations to these students on a wonderful academic year. My name is Paula Pratt. As the head of the counseling department, it is my privilege to honor the following students for their service this year. Jackson Academy's Upper School Student Council class representatives have been involved in several activities this school year. They planned homecoming, winter fest, assisted with the Thanksgiving food drive, and provided gifts for the Fondren Church Foster Family Christmas Party. Student Council members in grades 9 through 11 are juniors Thomas Arnold, Ava Cooey, Priya Ray, Lila Robertson, and Alice Williams. Sophomores, Wilson Etherly, Connor G, Olivia Quinn, Fran Wilkerson, and Anna Lee Wilson. Freshmen, Adams Kennedy, Drake Lester, Merritt Nations, Gracie Jury Pratt, and Olivia Claire Williford. Thank you for all of your hard work this year. The Jackson Academy Honor Council, now in its second year, is tasked with ensuring that students uphold the standards of the new Honor Code and Honor Pledge while helping each student lead a life of significance and purpose. Junior, sophomore, and freshman members of the Honor Council are Drew and TC, Coleman Dinkins, Isabel Island, Priya Ray, Lila Robertson, Jack Barner, Jane Arnold, Anna Claire Bush, Connor G, Gibson Cheney, Avery Brooks, and Dev Sharma. Thank you to these students for their service. Good evening. I'm Steve McCartney, the head of the Jackson Academy Upper School. And it is now my privilege to begin recognizing and honor, honoring students for their academics and service. The Academic Subject Awards are given to students who have maintained scholastic excellence while making a significant contribution in a specific subject area. The freshmen winning these subject awards are from the English Department in English Ninth, Bennett Ware, Honors English Ninth, Parker Yarborough. From the math department, honors geometry, Avery Brooks, algebra one, Addie Roberts. From the history department, ancient world history, Bailey Berry, world geography, Kathleen Thigpen. From the science department, honors biology, Elizabeth Copeland, biology one, Blake Jones. From the visual and performing arts department, for theater one, Campbell DeWeese. From the Foreign Language Department, in Latin one, Samuel Long. In Spanish one, Olivia Claire Williford. And for the elective digital citizenship, Ishmam Buyan. Sophomores winning subject area awards 
From the English department, honors 10th grade English, Reagan Felder. In 10th grade English, Ty Gardner. From the math department, geometry, Elizabeth Castle. Honors Algebra II, Gibson Cheney. From the history department, world history, Connor G. From the science department, applied science chemistry, Caroline Chrysler. Applied science physics, Fran Wilkerson. And honors chemistry, Sandon Guild. From the visual and performing arts departments, for concert choir, Caroline Redmond. Drawing and painting, Anna Lee Ladoff. Art fundamentals, Ann Barrett Robertson. From the foreign language department, French two, Avery Adair. Latin two, Anna Carlisle Nichols. French one, Paris Smoot. And the elective awards for 10th grade in speech and debate, Gunnar Kress. And sports broadcasting, Charlie Nutter. Our juniors winning subject area awards from the English department, 11th grade English, Pryor Murley. World Literature, Fumi Hall. AP English Language, Emma Roberts. From the Math Department, Algebra II, Caroline Graven, and Pre-Calculus, Isabel Lee. From the History Department, U.S. History, Jack Varner. AP U.S. History, Zoe Ladner. From the Science Department, Chemistry, Ethan Hill, and AP Chemistry, Priya Ray. From the Visual and Performing Arts Departments for Two-Dimensional Design, Andrew Holmes. From the Foreign Language Department, Spanish 2, Will Pilkington. Spanish 3, Gracie Coe. Latin 3, Hallie Gray House. And elective awards, Sociology Psychology, Mackenzie Coburn. Financial Management, McNeil Dinkins. Moral Leadership, Alex Summerford and annual staff, Alice Williams. The prestigious Bausch & Lomb Science Award is pre presented to one junior class student in recognition of high scholastic achievement in science. This year's winner is Zoe Ladner. Congratulations, Zoe. The Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award is an international award sponsored by the University of Rochester in the state of New York. This award recognizes outstanding achievement in the humanities and social sciences by a high school junior and is based on academic achievement, rigorous curriculum, test scores, leadership, and community service. This year's winner is Priya Ray. Congratulations, Priya. The George Eastman Young Leaders Award recognizes a junior for outstanding leadership, excellent academics, and extracurricular activities. This year's winner is Drew Antisi. Congratulations, Drew. And the Xerox Award for Innovation and Information Technology is sponsored by the University of Rochester and the Xerox Cor Corporation. It is presented to a junior student who shows a strong interest in innovation technology and has high achievement and rigor in both math and science classes. Congratulations to Thomas Arnold on receiving this award. The National I Dare You Leadership Award is awarded to a boy and a girl who exhibit personal integrity, balanced living, and a potential for leadership. This year's winner is Isabel Island. Congratulations, Isabel. The Ray Higgins and Bubba Cox Award are presented to a 10th, 11th, or 12th grader girl and boy who excel in at least two sanctioned sports and maintain a high grade point average through the third term of the year. This year's male winner is Emory Thigpen. Congratulations, Emory. The Faculty Award for Service, Leadership, and Scholarship is an honor given to the students who have demonstrated a real concern for the welfare of the students and staff at Jackson Academy. The ninth grade winners of the Faculty Award are Colette Hudson and Coleman Schutz. Tenth grade, Maggie Corey and Wilson Etherman. And eleventh grade, Juliana Copeland and Wes Thomas. The Outstanding Raider Award recognizes students who show respect for others 
an enthusiasm for learning, and school spirit, thus promoting a positive learning environment for themselves and others. This year's recipients are from the ninth grade, Stella Allen and Adams Kennedy. In 10th grade, Kennedy McKee and Michael Hederman. And for the 11th grade, Elizabeth Pedigo and Thomas Arnold. The Character and Service Award recognizes students whose lives exemplify service to Jackson Academy, personal responsibility, and a strong moral compass. This year's recipients are from the ninth grade, Gracie Drew Pratt and Dev Sharma. 10th grade, Jane Arnold and Clayton Mahaffey. And from the junior class, Emma Collins and Coleman Dinkins. The University of Mississippi Writing Competition is an annual write-in competition for the state of Mississippi and, and neighboring schools in Alabama, Arkansas, and Tennessee. Congratulations to Paul Batista for winning third place overall in the short story division for 2020. The Herschel Brickell Family Endowed Scholarship is awarded to a rising 10th grade student who possesses the personal qualities exemplified by Herschel Brickell. Those include integrity, self-discipline, and a desire to achieve, as well as an appreciation for history, government, and the values defined by the founding fathers of our nation. This year's winner, is Jeffrey Gow. Congratulations, Jeffrey. The following students are the recipients of the Glen Kane Scholarship, which was initiated in 1989 in honor of Mr. Glen Kane, the third headmaster of Jackson Academy. Mr. Kane served from 1975 through 1988. This scholarship is given to a rising sophomore, junior, and senior, and is based on academic performance, school citizenship, and service to the school. Selected to receive a scholarship for the 2020-2021 school year are rising 10th grade student, Elizabeth Copeland, rising 11th grade student, Reagan Felder, and rising 12th grade student, Drew Antisi. Congratulations to these students. The Andrew Yost DeFore Scholarship is awarded to an outstanding student who demonstrates the desire to unselfishly serve others, is dedicated to high achievement in academics and other activities, and is committed to a godly and healthy lifestyle. This year's winner is Avery Brooks. Congratulations, Avery. The 20th Century Endowed Scholarship Fund was established in November 1998 by a friend of Jackson Academy to recognize a student who possesses leadership skills, is well-rounded in his or her academic and extracurricular pursuits, and demonstrates coming from a Christian home. This year's winner is Ashton Tate. Congratulations, Ashton. The Julie Dyers Collins Leadership Award was established in 2007 by 1986 JA alumna. The criteria for the rising senior includes high academic achievement, participation in at least one sport, having strong moral character, and being considered a class leader. This year's winner is Caleb Hernandez. Congratulations, Caleb. The Harmon and Faye Bowman Memorial Scholarship was established in 1999 by their children, Amy and Philip, who are both graduates of JA. The Bowmans were very fond of Jackson Academy and would have been deeply honored to have this established in their memory. The scholarship recognizes a senior high girl and boy who indicate the promise of success through leadership potential, and who possess an entrepreneurial spirit. This year's winners are Mesa Vivians and Sims Baker. Congratulations to Mesa and Sims. The Mary Sprayberry Memorial Arts Scholarship 
was established in the fall of 2007 by the elementary faculty in memory of longtime Jackson Academy elementary art teacher, Mary Sprayberry. This scholarship is awarded in the form of tuition credit is given to a rising senior who has exhibited the following characteristics. Loyalty to Jackson Academy, having been a JA student since seventh grade, sharing Ms. Sprayberry's Christian spirit of encouragement and kindness, and possessing a creative and artistic talent. This year's winner is Andrew Holmes. Congratulations, Andrew. The Halley Houston Keys Scholarship was established in 2010 by the family of Mr. Earl Keys. Halley Keys was the grandmother of Franklin, Kristen, Marion, Houston, and Adam Keys, and Ryan and Brett Ward, all graduates of Jackson Academy. The purpose of this scholarship is to encourage the building of Christian character the development of a well-rounded personality in the students at JA. Three candidates were selected using these guidelines by a group of upper school faculty designated by the Keyes family. The family requested that students in the 10th, 11th, and 12th grades get a vote on the winner. This year's winner is Sophie Hayes. Congratulations, Sophie. The Scott Branding Scholarship was established in Scott's memory in 2012 by his friends, the Branding family, and the entire Jackson Academy community. A 1994 graduate of JA, Coach Branding returned and worked in several capacities, including as a teacher and a coach, until January of 2012. Scott loved challenging and encouraging each of his students and players this scholarship is awarded to a rising sophomore, junior, or senior who displays the following qualities. Love for Jackson Academy, respect for others, and a tenacity in dealing with the circumstances of life. Scott's parents, Carol and Keith, served Jackson Academy for many years. Keith as assistant headmaster and upper school dean, and Carol as a middle school social studies teacher. This year's winner is Zoe Ladner. Congratulations, Zoe. My name is Emma Ward. As a member of the 2018 graduating class of Jackson Academy and a member of the Francis Ann Fortner Memorial Scholarship Selection Committee, it's my deep honor to announce the winner of this year's scholarship. The Francis Ann Fortner Memorial Scholarship was established in 2018 by her parents, Tom and Laurel Ann Fortner, along with gifts from individuals and groups who love Francis. The recipient will be the student who best emulates the character and values that distinguish Francis Fortner, including kindness and generosity towards others, a commitment to diversity, inclusiveness and the equal rights of women, leadership and integrity, and creativity, curiosity, and maturity of thought. This year's winner is Miles Taylor Leverett. Congratulations, Miles Taylor. Students voted as beauties and bows by their peers are as follows. Ninth grade beauties, Molly Baldwin, Lily Gebhardt, Ninth Grade Bow, Merritt Nations, and Bennett Ware. Tenth Grade Beauties, Mary Gibson Lundy, Olivia Quinn, and Ashley Runnels. Tenth Grade Bow, Ellis Bates, Barton Bull, and Scott Swally. Eleventh Grade Beauties, Mary Grace Downs, Sophie Hayes, Pryor Murley, and Allie Sessoms. 11th grade bows, Drew N.T.C., Michael Lowe, Bryant Sego, and Emery Thigpen. Students voted as class favorites by their peers are as follows. 9th grade class favorites, Avery Brooks, Kendall Ross, Drake Lester, Adams Kennedy. 10th grade class favorites, Caroline Chrysler, Anna Carlisle Nichols, Annalee Wilson, Connor G, Andrew Burks, and Wilson Etherly. 11th grade class favorites, Kaylee Ashford, Lily Roden, Lila Robertson, Anna Claire Sego, Coleman Dickens, Ethan Hill, Michael Hogue, and Jack Varner. 
And now a message to the underclassmen of Jackson Academy. First, the freshmen. Wow, I bet your first year of high school was a wild ride. Your grades are now official and will count towards college. This is just the beginning, so don't get comfortable. Only three more years and you're out of here. As you begin driving next year, I wish you the best of luck navigating the JA parking lots. Have fun, it will go by way faster than you realize. Next to the sophomores, congrats, you're midway through high school. I bet you're super excited. Too bad you're about to go into literally the most crammed and hardest year of JA. I'm just kidding, 11th grade is a great year and filled with some of the best memories I have at JA. But for real, keep your grades up. If you can take an online summer school class at JA, it may well be worth it. Junior year is a very busy one. And finally, the juniors. Congratulations on making it past 11th grade. I can say with a definite experience that senior year is a wild ride. I hope that yours will not be quite as wild as our past senior year, but wild regardless. I literally didn't know what was coming next. Take in all the memories that you can, because you never know when it could all go away. It is an exciting year with a ton of memories and privileges. I really wish I could have fulfilled my final promise as, stu as student body president to provide a cushy tushy with the Charmin in the upper school bathrooms, but the national toilet paper shortage and Corona took that last goal from me. In closing, I want to challenge all the JA student body to not take anything for granted. My fellow seniors and I would have never thought that this could have possibly happened to us. Most of us didn't think that spring break would be our last day at school. Some of us won't even be able to see our friends again. Take in every single day like it's your last. Support each other and help each other. And as always, go Raiders, be prep. This concludes our 9th through 11th grade awards day presentation. Thank you all for watching and we hope to celebrate you live next year.